We all know LA is famous for its star-studded restaurants. One of the oldest and most celebrated is the Musso and Frank Grill in the heart of Hollywood. It first opened its doors in 1919, but the restaurant's been closed for the past year. Next week, it actually reopens for indoor dining. Melissa McGee from our partner station NBC4 in Los Angeles is at the Musso and Frank Grill. What's up, Melissa? Hey, Kelly. What's up, girl? How are you? I am so good. You look beautiful, by the way. I love that dress. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Well, this restaurant is as old as Hollywood is, basically, right? Oh, that's right, Kelly. Every star in Hollywood's history has eaten here. We're talking about names like Charlie Chaplin, Harrison Ford, and Marilyn Monroe. That was my Marilyn pose, by the way. <laughs> Check this out, Kelly. This is Marilyn's booth. This is the booth where she used to sit and dine and eat here back in the day. There have been so many deals that have been made at the booths and the tables you see right around and behind me. This restaurant is so iconic. It is the only restaurant with its own star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. It's been in countless movies as well. We're talking about 2019, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood with Brad Pitt and Leonardo DiCaprio. In fact, in 2019, the restaurant had its most successful year, capping off 100 years in business. Then you fast forward to COVID, the pandemic, and the shutdown. And this restaurant, like so many others, was impacted by that. In fact, the owners thought that they would never be able to reopen. But you know what, Kelly? It ain't Hollywood unless there's a sequel and a comeback story in there somewhere. So LA is back stronger, baby, and they are opening up their doors to restaurants as early as next week. So I've got Andrea Scudo with me, the GM. And Andrea, we're just going to put this on for safety reasons. But talk to me about the booth we have behind me. Pretty popular. Absolutely. I pulled the mask just a second. We were keen on protocols here. Mm -hmm. So the booth, well, welcome to Musso and Frank. The booth right behind me is the Charlie Chaplin booth. Wow. Charlie Chaplin and Rodolfo Valentino, we ran off their La Brea Studios up on Hollywood Boulevard when Hollywood Boulevard was just a dirt road. And they like to sit in this booth because it's the only booth with a window. So they could eat their horses right there <laughs> and uh, take a look at, peek at them while they're having lunch. And of course, uh, the one who lost the race had to pay the bill. <laughs> <laughs> I love that story. But it's not yeah. just the booth, Andrea. We've got history all throughout. But we don't just have that. We've got steaks as well. Oh, yes. We're Our hungry. grill over here is as old as uh, this room in 1934 when we we opened this particular room, and we have Chef JP manning the grill. Hi, Chef. Hi. Grilling beautiful steaks uh, on the same grill where Marilyn Monroe ordered his steak from. Oh, wow. Do those not look good, Kelly, on the grill like that? Girl, I'm Sizzling. Texan. Yes, they look great. <laughs> <laughs> so in addition, Kelly, to the steaks, they've got something equally as popular. Talk to me about this drink. Absolutely. The Musso and Frank Martini. Over here, Morad is pouring a fine example of it. Always stirred, never shaken. James Bond had it wrong. <laughs> As a matter of fact, Kelly, we're sending a martini right here for you. Oh! In the studio. Oh, I missed you. Hey! What's up? I like a celebration, y'all. All right. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Is someone gonna drink that one? No? Oh, hey, I'll drink it. You don't have to ask me twice okay. to drink a drink. Oh, that's really good. But maybe God. not with the mask. I love, I love all of them. <laughs> oh my God. So Andrea, reopening means a lot for your customers, but also your staff, right? Absolutely. Musso and Frank Grill has been owned and operated from the same family from 1927. And, uh, you know, our staff has been with us with decades. <laughs> chef JP here is the only the third executive chef in the history of Musso and Frank Grill. Morad over here has been with us for a very long time. And during the pandemic, uh, you know, the family went above and beyond uh, to make sure that all the team, the family was taken care of. And finally, everybody's coming back. Yeah. So, you know, we treat our team as family. We, we treat our guests as family and we look forward to reopen our doors and everybody, you know, finally gets back into their favorite boots. All right, well, thank you so much, Melissa. Thank you, Andrea. The Musso and Frank Grill reopens for indoor dining next Thursday, May 6th. And if you want to learn more about their famed history, check out their book, which includes recipes and stories. You can find out how to get it on our Insta story. Yep, I'm still here, just waiting for you to subscribe. If you don't, I'll be trapped in this box forever.